Welcome back guys, another video from Jedi Roy here. This one's going to be a little bit of a haul. Uh, it's just a one box, mind. But it's uh, it's quite a cool one. It's it's not Lego, it's actually to do with my setup. Now I do strive to try and make my videos quite good quality with, with what I've got. And I, I really try to make the editing as good as I can make it. I'm still learning and stuff, I'm very new to the game. But yeah, this hopefully is going to help me. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to use it soon. Uh, I'm also going to be getting a new computer at some point in the next couple months. So this with my tripod and hopefully a new computer will tee in quite well. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. Just like that, we have the mic open. So here it is guys, the, the HyperX Quadcast mic. It's a brilliant mic. It looks the nuts. I just love the fact that I've got one now. It's it's quite highly regarded and respected, like the professional and the more like well-known YouTubers as well. I've watched a lot of videos and they've all given it positive reviews. A couple of my friends have the same mic as well, which is great. I love the features that this mic has. It cost me a hundred pounds. It's definitely worth it. Something that just makes it look sick. Right, so if I wanna use the mic, just tap it and it comes on and starts glowing red and that just looks like like I don't know quite futuristic -y. it just looks sick and I've like the hexagon patterns and stuff it's an aesthetically pleasing mic as well it's got so many features so like I said you turn that off um, the gain is on the bottom so you just twist the knob try and bring it closer uh, on the back you've got your polar settings um, there's four different settings one is 360 then you've got the front the front three quarters of the mic so if you don't want to hear any sound off the back then that's good for that one then you've also got your front and back so if you're doing like a podcast or something and you want the sound to be heard more from the front and the back of the mic not from the sides that's that's the one for you then if you go right over to the left you've got a side to side so this will pick up the majority of the sound coming from the sides and try to cut out as much as it can from the back and the front. Then it actually, unlike a lot of mics, you can't see it very well in there, but it has a headphone jack, which is pretty nifty. So you can put your headphones on and perfectly do all your sound checks through that. It's connected through uh, one USB port which connects from the mic to your preferred device depending on what uh, adapter you've got and this stand is all metal by the way fully metal stand the stand actually does have some uh, retractability i guess or posability that's the word um you can also buy like a boom arm i think that's what it's called for this uh, i actually have and it turns up on monday or tuesday so that's another great thing uh, I just love that so much. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set it up with your Mac. So I'll start off by, with a Mac this is anyway, you go over to you, the Apple icon in the top left hand corner of the screen and you go system preferences, then you go to sound over here, tap on sound and then I've already got mine in but you'd go to output and then you'd select your HyperX Quadcast uh, USB and then you'd go to your input and you'd select the, the same HyperX Quadcast USB and then from there you can you can change your input volume on on the actual uh, settings on here and stuff and you can see how loud it's coming out uh, you can change your output too or you can mute it but also Obviously you can do a lot of it on the actual mic as well, but it, it's really as simple as that. And then to start using it, now this is something that I found awkward. Obviously with my computer, it's too old at the minute to get iMovie. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to wait till I get a newer computer. But I've seen a lot of the time questions asked how you actually start using it. And it, and it would be really simple. So you'd literally just go into your iMovie app if you had it and you just select the mic in your settings on the on audio settings in iMovie and then you literally just start using it and it will just the sound will go through the mic it's, it's really as simple as that anyway 
that is my unboxing and tutorial on the HyperX Quadcast. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll be back very soon with a Mocktober video. So uh, stay tuned. So I hope you're staying safe in this, in this treachery time and happy building and peace.